module 5 that is unit 9 additive manufacturing systems so we will be seeing the various principles the processes of additive manufacturing their comparisons applications and recent trends in manufacturing so manufacturing whenever we use that term it means our idea is creating a material in a particular shape and size most of the manufacturing processes that we are employing will have a step where you are removing material to get the final shape for example take the case of casting process you are melting the metal you are creating a shape but the size is not as per the requirement because of tolerance issues so you are removing material so removing material from the component or from the workpiece to get the final shape is called as subtractive manufacturing or you can start with a block of material and remove material using various machine tools and you are able to get the final shape that will be the subtractive manufacturing now additive manufacturing means we are adding material to generate the part so whenever we say adding material the first thing that comes to our mind should be welding in welding process we are using a filler material and we are melting it and we are adding it into the weld zone in most of the cases to create the component that is to join two components so if we are able to further this process of adding material in a controlled fashion that one will be called as the additive manufacturing but in reality it will not be as simple as that because when you are trying to add material it has to stay in a particular place the material should not flow and the material should be strong enough to remain in position during the process if you take the example of conventional machining if the material is too thin and too delicate then the entire machining process will become completely different than if it is solid so same is the case with additive manufacturing there are also several aspects to it apart from the way in which we are adding the material so welding if we say it is mostly applicable for metals but additive manufacturing can be used for plastics metals ceramics or virtually any kind of material subtractive manufacturing can also be applied for wide variety of material what is rapid prototyping the additive manufacturing process when it was initially developed it was developed with the idea of creating a prototype prototype is that product which is produced as a first part to perform a variety of tests on it that is a functional test whether it will be able to be assembled in a given position or for internal testing of planes internal testing of cars or some similar other kind of application so the first part if you are able to produce very quickly all the tests can be carried out and finally you can go for the bulk manufacturing or production in large quantities so the technologies which were used to produce the first component very quickly those were called as rapid prototyping technologies but nowadays with the advancement of computing technology this rapid prototyping has become a manufacturing process so all these things are combinedly called as nowadays additive manufacturing processes so in all of the additive manufacturing processes the main thing to remember is whatever material is being added it is added layer by layer so what is this layer we'll be discussing in the coming topics so that is the important thing to remember 
whenever we say additive manufacturing it is currently understood as adding material layer by layer to complete the component so we will see what are the types of components that can be produced now this is a typical mold and this is a core for a automobile engine with the need for higher accuracy and better cooling channels requirement the size and shape of the molds and cores have also become very crucial so additive manufacturing technologies are used to prepare the molds to prepare the cores and they are assembled together and that particular set is used for casting process this is another component which is produced by additive manufacturing processes this is also a component produced by additive manufacturing process while the earlier one we have seen that is made up of plastic material this one is made up of metal so if you want to make this one by conventional means either you have to take a cylindrical block and remove out all the material or the other way is to make a sheet of material bend it into its required shape weld it make all this pipes again you have to weld it it involves lot of process but by using additive manufacturing techniques these components can be produced more easily and for higher accuracy it is nowadays additive manufacturing is also combined with conventional machining to improve the overall accuracy and tolerances on the work pieces